En esta lección, vamos a aprender cómo está, or cómo están. We're going to learn how to ask someone how they are if they're not the same age as you. We're also going to learn how to ask a group of people how they're doing. First, ¿Cómo está usted? Se usa en situaciones formales. ¿Cómo está usted? So, ¿Cómo está usted? Or, ¿Cómo está? You're going to use for people like you've learned in the culture section of your notes. For people who are older than you or in situations that are more formal. So if they're not on the same peer plane as you, so they're not the same age as you, they're not younger than you, um, or if it's a, in say like a shopping situation or like a political situation or, or like a, a teacher student situation, something like that, a more formal situation, um, they're not your friend, then you would use usted. So when addressing me, if you wanted to ask, how are you? You would say, como esta usted? Or, como esta? Como esta? Como esta usted? You may also abbreviate usted by using a capital U, a lowercase d, and a period. It always must be a capital U. In this situation, as long as you know that you're talking about usted, you don't need the usted, which is why it's in parentheses there. To respond in this situation, you would say, ¿Y usted? So if I ask you, ¿Cómo estás? How are you? You might respond, Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Because I'm older than you are. Or if it were in a situation that's formal and you needed to respond to someone, you might say, ¿Y usted? So, if I said, ¿Cómo estás? And you said, muy bien, gracias. I'm doing well, thank you. And you wanted to be polite and ask me how I'm doing? Instead of saying, ¿Cómo está usted? You could just say, ¿Y usted? And you? And remember, to abbreviate usted, you could just use a capital U, a lowercase d, and a period. Again, se usa en situaciones formales. Usa para situaciones formales. You use it in formal situations. Next, how are you all? When you're talking about more than one person, se usa para hablar con más que una persona. You're going to use the phrase, ¿Cómo están ustedes? How are you all? ¿Cómo están ustedes? ¿Cómo están ustedes? To abbreviate ustedes, you can use a capital U, a lowercase d, a lowercase s, and a period. It's always a capital U. And if you wanted to say, and ustedes, and you all, to talk about more than one person, you would say, y ustedes, and you all, again, Usa para hablar con más 
que una persona. You're going to use it to speak with more than one person. Well, that's it for this lesson. I hope it was very helpful.